I have a very greedy sister. And the reason I say this is because she decided to basically abandon our family and run away with some rich guy. I know it doesn't sound too horrible, people do that kind of thing, but let me add a little twist to it. This guy was my high school bully, but I wasn't the only person he bullied. He bullied the whole school, including her. And now she does this? Now what do you do with a person who literally has no regard for family values? Let alone their loved ones, leave them to rot. Guys, I've been going through a lot and this is why I'm here to vent, so I'll request everybody to please be nice. It's not feasible for me to absorb any more hatred or insults at the moment, and I'm not usually an expressive person, but I'm here as I literally have nobody that I can talk to. So please hear me out. Ah, uh, well, first, my name's Carol. I'm a 25-year-old woman residing in America. I hate my sister. Yes, I really do. She, well, let's call her Katie. It's one of the worst people I could have ever described or even think about. She has officially destroyed herself and the reputation of our family, and I'm not able to rectify anything. So, a month back, she got married to Goring, who apparently is the love of her life and believes that he will offer her the world. Now, the thing is that Goring comes from a well-to-do family and has one of the most influential families we've ever heard about in our small little town. Katie always had a crush on Goring, and there was never a day when she would not talk about him. You know, not just this, but she always used to obsess about him in a weird manner, and he had that influence over everybody, really. Both of them had a very quick marriage, with just a groom's family present. Honestly, we're not happy with her decision, and since we cannot do anything about it, we simply let her go. Right now, I understand that this all might sound a bit confusing, and I know I might be coming out as a bad person, so let me tell you why all of us are so concerned. And by all of us, I mean my family. Uh, Goring is a bad guy. Well, let me tell you why exactly I say that. Me, Katie, and Goring studied at the same school, and he never had a good reputation. His actions were and are extremely vile, and that man literally has no regard for anyone he comes across. I'm extremely self-conscious of a person, and I've always been that way. And it magnified more when Goring bullied me, and to this day, no one has any idea about what he did, as I never had the guts to open up about it. So, as a black woman, I've always been heavy. I would not say fat, but uh, thick. He has been body-shaming me a lot, so much so that I used to cry myself to sleep every single night. Uh, this might trigger some of you, but I was physically abused, basically beaten up by Goring in high school, and it took me years, and I mean years, about five of them, to come out of it, and I even went to therapy for it as I was too embarrassed to even talk about it. I was in one of the empty classrooms, and he entered without permission and started talking all this crap to me, straight up. I talked back to him and instantly regretted it because in the next minute he slapped me so hard I landed on the floor where I got severely injured. And not only this, he was a racist as well. He called me, uh, well, as I quote, a black piece of crap. I was horrified by him. He used to bully everybody at school and on one point in time he hit somebody terribly, which directly sent the other person to the hospital. Due to his harmful actions at school, he was rusticated, and despite uh, coming from an influential family, yeah, well, he could not challenge the school authorities. Trust me when I say this, when Goring left, that was literally the happiest day for most of the people at the school as nobody liked him. It was this time, uh, once, I slapped Katie because she kept talking about Goring and how awful she felt that he had to leave the school. We used to sleep in the same room while we were at school, and the only thing that she would talk to me about was goring this and goring that. As we grew up, and of course, due to the challenges that happened after school, I had almost gotten over all that he did to me. Now, before I tell you what happened when they got married, you should all know that Katie has been a spoiled, rotten brat. She's highly attracted to money, and nothing makes her happier than that. A month before their marriage, she announced in front of us that she was dating somebody and wanted us to meet him as they wanted to settle down ASAP. 
Obviously, at the time, I was really happy for my sister, and she had finally found someone after a series of failed relationships. But when her boyfriend... Ugh, when he entered our home, it shattered me. I could not believe that it was goring she was going to marry. All of us were aware of this reputation, except Katie, as she was living in her own little delusional world. He came in with his usual smirk and greeted us all, and we were clearly not happy to see him. Well, he went on to mention that he loves my sister and wants to marry her, but before anything, my father refused and humiliated him, asking him to get out of the house. Goring said that he was there for Katie, and he promised that he would take good care of her, but Dad simply refused, and he was forced to leave. Yeah, my sister, being his puppet, followed him outside, crying hysterically, and he left her there crying. When she came back, she starts to shout at all of us for letting go of such a capable man. Well, guys, we explained to her very patiently that she should reconsider her decisions as Goring and even his family do not really have a good reputation. She just kept crying and crying and ran towards her room. She locked herself inside for the next three days and did not come out at all. We kept asking her to come out, but her condition was that she would only come out if we approved of Goring, and we did not want to. I'm sure you guys can understand why. You know, since we had to get Katie out of her room eventually, we had no choice but to invite Goring's family over, and that experience was absolute rubbish, as his family was not good either. When they came over, none of them had the basic courtesy to greet us, and they directly claimed that even though they did not approve of Katie, as she was very ugly in their words, they were also approving of us, and Goring is persistent to marry her, and they want him to live a happy life. Goring asked his parents to be polite and respectful towards us and called us family, and I'm not going to lie. I actually felt that he might have changed, but I did not want to count my chickens before they hatch. He asked to accept him and that he would do his best to care for Katie. While listening to his voice, she came running out of her room and announced that he was a changed man and that he deserved a second chance in this life. Everybody does. Or else she would harm herself if she was not able to marry him. My parents at the time had no choice but to accept the proposal. On the same day, he even proposed to her with this huge diamond ring, and I still remember the smile that she had that day. She was continuously showing off about it to everyone. Mom and Dad stopped talking to her as they were totally against their marriage, and it was ruining the family's reputation, but we could not do a thing about it. While the wedding preparations were going on, I was silently working in my bedroom and Goring entered from behind. I was focused so I could not hear the door opening, but that man had the audacity to insult me once again. Like old times, but this time I did not give in. He tried to pull my hair and hit me once again. I announced in front of everybody that he tried to bully me, which made them furious. Before anybody could go and take any action, Katie announced that I physically abused Goring by slapping him as he refused to marry me. I mean, what? I told her that he was the one to tease and bully me, but she simply called me a witch and said that I was jealous as she found the most perfect man on this earth and that my boyfriend was nothing in the eyes of Goring. She said that Goring had already told her that I was after their relationship. The fact that my sister refused to believe and decided to support my high school bully, it made me extremely furious and Goring, on the other hand, asked why would he even want to think of another woman apart from his gorgeous wife? Well, guess what? I was completely wrong about him. He's not even changed a bit and he was still the high school bully that I was horrified about. But guys, right now, I'm angrier about Katie as she did not even once think about the fact that she should believe me for once. I wanted to give her a tight slap. My father lost his calm and announced that he was canceling their marriage and now he had nothing to fear. The wedding! It got canceled right then and there and the next day she came downstairs with all their bags and told us that she's leaving to live with Goring and that we did not deserve her or him. She said that he was a nice person and he would take care of her well. Oh, really, huh? Then Dad rejected her decision and she laughed and called us all brokies and that we never had enough money to do any of that so that she could fulfill her demands and that this is the reason she's actually leaving. My father asked her to get out and she simply left. Until now, we have not heard a peep from her. But frankly, I don't even wish to know where she's at. Katie, 
has simply abandoned us, and now she was never going to come back, and honestly, I'm glad. As she has always been a troublemaker, and just now, we did not want to deal with her anymore. But I also feel bad as she is my sister, and I wanted good for her. But she herself signed up for this, and this is entirely her fault. Anyways, we're all trying our best to move on, as we've never expected this. Out of Katie, but as for me, I'm still not able to process what's happened, and... I just wish that there was hope. So do you guys think that was the right decision for us? Or for her, for that matter? Do you think that I've made the right choice? Anyways, that's it from my side. I'll be back for an update later on. What's up, guys? Mr. Redito here. Man, can you imagine having a sister like that? And she just doesn't seem to care about her family. And, you know... I think that this is coming back to bite her one way or the other. There's multiple updates to hop into, and if you guys are not subscribed, hit that button for daily drama stories, and here is update number one. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well, and I did not expect that I would even be back here, but here I am after three months. So, I recently got engaged to my long-term boyfriend, and I'm doing much better now. However, something happened, and this is going to be an absolute major update. Firstly, thank you all for the love and support that you've sent me. It means a lot. I'm sorry about how most of you went through similar stuff. Please take care of yourselves. And to the people who are claiming that I'm jealous of my sister, excuse me, why would I be? I've got a proper job, and she's not even independent. And all you have to choose is to target me like that? Come on. Frankly, the way life has treated me, I would never want her life as I'm satisfied with my own. So please, watch what you say. Anyways, I've been recovering from the past incident, and thankfully, my fiancé and my family have been really supportive. Okay, coming back to the update. Last month, Katie showed up at our place, and that too in a miserable state. It was really unexpected to see her that way. You know, after all, she married a rich man, am I right? My father did not open the door to her and asked her to beat it. She said that she wants to talk, but nobody would listen, and she left. I wasn't home at the time, and, you know, I came back in the evening, and then I got to know that Katie had stopped by. I didn't care as I went through so much because of her, so obviously I did not think much about it. But then I received a text from her that she wants to meet and that it was urgent and she needed me. I did not reply, but then she constantly uh, started texting and calling, which was creating quite the disturbance. Since our parents did not let her in, I met her outside and asked her what she wanted. She fell down on her knees and started crying, and everybody around stopped to see what the hell's going on with her. So I asked her to get up, get a seat. Before I tell you what happened, I have something to share with you. One thing that I forgot to mention in my last post was that Goring is a womanizer. Well, you probably thought that already, but he slept with a lot of women in the past and played around with them and left them afterward, and in that manner, he's never had a good reputation with girls. He even used to threaten them for his own benefits, and if they did not agree with him, he used to bully the hell out of him, and it worked. Yeah, exactly, he was good for nothing. And this was one of the major reasons why I wanted to stop her in the first place, but as you already know, she was keen on money. She's always been, and she went along with her stupid, stupid decision. Okay, she told me that Goring was going to divorce her very soon, and he is now bored of her, and has had multiple affairs. She said that she found him in bed with a woman, and that too at their house, and when she confronted him, she simply said that he was bored of her. And now they should separate, as he does not want to be in this marriage anywho. His parents treat her like a servant. They actually make her sweep the entire mansion every single day, and Goring never stood up to her once. Rather, they mock her for being black, and she did not benefit from their money at all, and she kept crying while narrating the entire story and said that she wanted to come home and that I should help her with all of this. She then accepted that she was guilty of abandoning and humiliating us and that now she would never be that same person again. I told her I didn't care, and as soon as I was about to leave, she held my leg and begged me to talk to mom and dad. In short... She created a scene once again and starts to yell. Cry, scream, just to make her stop, I told her, okay, okay, get off my leg. I'll talk to mom and dad and that she should not be around the house for a few days or else she would land in trouble. Well, she was not ready to go back to her in-laws, so I asked my school friend 
if Katie could live with her for a few days, until I convinced mom and dad, so she's currently living with her friend and I keep visiting her now. And then to see if she needs anything, I tried convincing mom and dad, but they simply asked me to never ever mention her name again in this household. I know I mentioned that I'm never going to speak to her again, but I'm left with no choice at all as she's in a very bad state right now and she has nowhere to go. I wonder if she would have helped me if I was in this position, but anyways, let's just see what happens. Update number two. Good evening, everyone. I was not expecting myself to be back this soon due to all that's been actually happening, and obviously due to my busy work schedule, but here I am as I finally found the time to update. It's been three weeks, uh, the last time I updated you all, and this one is a big, big update, all right. Katie is continuing to live with my friend, and recently it, she started working to take her mind off things, and I just think that's great. I have to admit something in the first place. I never wanted to help Katie because of what she put me through. But then if I became selfish, there would be no difference left between us. I decided to help her out. I did. So this is actually a very big move as nobody from the family is aware that I've been helping her. And I don't think I will ever tell them as they're going to be extremely upset about the fact that I went against their wishes. You know... My sister is a big emotional fool, and she called uh, Goring to reconcile things, but that man didn't even pick up the phone and sent her the divorce papers. I must say that she has no self-respect at all. Anyways, after doing a lot of brainstorming, we finally came up with a plan. As I've already mentioned, Goring has had a history with a number of women, and I've known most of them through school and luckily through social media. I found them all. I would not say all, but yeah, maybe most of them. I got in touch and told them about everything that's happened and they all were furious as they could understand our pain and what Katie went through and they decided to come together against Goring, but now we have to figure out how. So all these women were victims of Goring's actions and used to click themselves while they were abused by him. Well, so that became sufficient evidence for all of us. Also, I managed to get in touch with his ex-girlfriend on whom he had cheated on with Katie, and she also seemed to join hands with us as she was done with him, and also mentioned that he was just using her for his own benefits. Since we had all the evidence regarding him, and all the women agreed upon fighting that we came up with an idea. We're going to file a case, and he was not going to have any right or any hint regarding the same. These women would show up during the court proceedings just like that. I asked Katie to report her soon-to-be ex-husband to the police so we could get him arrested for what he's done to you. She disagreed with me and she was trying to convince him, but then I threatened her not to enter the house again and that she would be on the streets for good if she did not agree. And of course, she was forced to file a case on Goring and the cops arrested him and eventually we hired a lawyer for the case. By the way, even Katie did not have any idea that I got in touch with those women, as she cannot be trusted and she will open up to her rich jerk of a husband about the same, and it will all go to ruins. Well, Goring, he finally got arrested, as we had given all the proof to the cops. You know, the pictures they were given by the women, so that was enough proof for them, and he got himself caught up in a prison. His parents were furious and showed up at our place. They threatened us that they would put us all in jail and everything if Katie did not take her complaint back, but even my parents have no idea about the fact that I have gotten them arrested with Katie's help. So they again questioned us, right, about how much money we wanted, but we simply refused and they hired a lawyer to fight their son. Katie went to the police station to visit Goring, but instead got insulted, as Goring did not want to see her now and simply refused and asked her to beat it. Scram! How low will she sink for the sake of money? Ugh, of course, goring and all of this for nothing. She was not even going to get a single penny out of him or his family. I don't know what she's thinking. Now, we have a court proceeding lined up for next week. Although we have a good amount of people in our support, I'm still nervous as I'm all alone in this. As a matter of fact, I hope coming from a poor family will not affect our case as I can't afford to lose. However, since Goring comes from a well-to-do family, he has a higher chance of manipulating the case with the power of his money. Ugh, anyways. So yes, let us wait and see what's going to happen next. Please take care, guys. Final updates. Hey guys, it's me. 
So I hope you're all doing well. And remember, uh, I posted a while back. If you don't remember me, please feel free to go through my previous post on my profile. Anyways, I'm back here after five months, and I honestly have been so busy this summer due to the professional and family responsibilities I have. But anyways, let me get to it. I finally found time to update you, and I apologize for the delay and understand if you all wanted to know what happened with the court proceedings, so here it is. Three days before the court proceedings, my sister was getting weird attacks, and, well that she should change her mind, and I still thought that she was having these second thoughts, but this time I did not care about what she was talking about. I simply did not want to listen to her. Initially, I said that I would not tell my parents and all, but I felt that it was important as they've always supported me and everything. So it felt like I owed it to them, you know? I sat them down and I told them absolutely everything. I really had a thought that they were going to be angry or something that I did not inform them about it beforehand. But they were happy and super proud of me and they told me that my decision to stand up against him is absolutely right and that they're with me. On the day of the court proceeding, all of us gathered and his parents were continuously threatening us. That they would teach us a good lesson but were eventually stopped by the cops as a mark of discipline. When the judge asked us all to provide the evidence and Goring being his stupid self laughed at me and announced in front of everyone that the evidence that I had submitted to the police could have been fake and everything that I had could have been manipulated. The complaint that was filed against him was for physical misuse and the fact that he used to hit us really badly. He kept laughing and laughing in the court and told me that I would not be able to fight him until all the women were up in the court. Uh, and I mean all the women that he used to play around with and abuse for his pleasures were now together in the same room, ready to end him once and for all. That was the exact moment when he stopped laughing and I clearly saw the fear on his face. I loved how things changed all of a sudden for us. At first, I was the one to be scared of him, but now he's the one terrified all of a sudden? Yeah, karma! I saw Katie being horrified looking at those women, and I could clearly see the regret in her eyes. All of them spoke about Katie, well, against Goring, and the judge found him guilty as he failed to prove himself, so did his lawyer. It was clear-cut defeat, and that day he cried like a little baby, as this was the end of the road for him. He's sentenced to a pretty long time, and we're finally free of him, and I feel nothing but a sense of victory, as I finally won over my high school bully, who traumatized my life, me and my sister, literally my whole life. Goring was charged on the basis of violence against women and was arrested for the same. As for Katie, she left the town. She's trying to convince our parents and me uh, for the matter, but it's too late and my parents are never going to forgive her uh, for anything as she already caused a lot of damage to the family. When she came back and requested them to take her in, they simply asked her to leave. I think she understood her mistake, and without questioning any further, she simply left town, and we've not heard anything from her since then. Also, she has deactivated her social media account. Well, I don't even care anymore. Also, guys, I'm getting married next month. I'm super excited about it, and I would like to thank you all for being here from the start, and of course, for being patient with me. As I took a lot of time in updating you all, I feel great to be a part of such a beautiful community. Well, anyways, thank you guys, and take care.